All right, what's up, my friends? There and back again. I'm Mythic Tail, which means we toil away in diamond playing bad decks. Um, we're trying out a deck today. This is um, a very interesting brew. I'm trying out a lot of different brews today from um, that I saw on various Star City Games articles. We just played a Jerry Thompson Arclight Phoenix deck. If you missed that, check out the video on YouTube. It'll be up at some point. This is a Esper Dive Downy Terramandery Thief of Sanity deck posted by Sam Black. Um, and I've kind of been like, I've had this deck kind of floating in my head too. Uh, a Thief of Sanity deck that plays Dive Down and some early threats. Um, I think, think Thief of Sanity is awesome, but most of the decks that play it are bad. Um, and this deck is playing sort of like Mono Blue, but we're playing Thought Erasure and Duress and actual removal spells and Discovery. And we're topping off on Seraph of the Scales, which card is also a card that's pretty good against Mono Blue and pretty good in general right now. Um, if you want to see the Sand Black Visitation list, you'll see that later in the stream, so stay tuned. Um, so we have... Terramander is also just gas in this deck. We have Discoveries and all these spells and discard spells. It's going to be a 5-5 five, five really, really quick. So we have 4, four Terramander, 4 Thief of Sanity, 4 Sephiroth of the Scales, and a Hostage Taker, and a Lazav. Uh -huh. And then um, Search for Escanta... You know, dive down. We don't need obsession because Thief of Sanity has built in obsession. I think that's kind of the idea. Uh, Thought Erasure seems great. Spell Pierce is cool. Duress is cool. Uh, Mortify is obviously great. Just kind of like a cool, interesting take. Uh, Freebooter does seem really good. I can definitely see Freebooter being quite good in this deck. I'm not going to change the list right now. I'm just going to play the list as it is. Um, maybe a few matches in, I'll put in Freebooters if I think they really, really want them. There are no, no booters in the list anywhere. Cyborg's got Infection, Negate, Cast Down, Moment of Raving, Cry of the Carnarium. I love Ritual of Soot against the white decks. Love it. Hostaker, Eldritch Reborn, Entrancing Melody. So, Cyborg seems pretty cool. Um, do agree that Freebooter could have a place here. Maybe you cut, like, Lazav. Like, Lazav, Amorti... I mean, Mortify's pretty good. Like, a Lazav and maybe Search for a could be Freebooters. I'm not really sure. But, we're going to try it like this, and we're going to battle. We'll, we'll, we'll play five matches in ranked... And uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. Basilica Bell Haunt seems too hard to cast. We're just splashing white. I mean, they're not, they're not gonna have Unbreakable untapped, just floating around. And then Adalto Vanguard is the only card that's really annoying. How can we call me Big Booty if you don't have Big Booty? Ross, you're obsessed with big booties. You gotta chill out. Consecrate Consume? I don't know why you'd want that card. That card's cool, but... So the question is, is, is Terramander better than Hero of Precinct 1? Which is the other Esper deck. I think that Hero deck is super clunky. Um, this deck just seems super lean compared to that, which is cool. Um, I think Ross is saying he likes my butt. I took Ross on a nice date in Dallas. It's not surprising that he would be enamored with me at this point. Terramander, Thief. This is, a, this is a curve. One, two, three, four. And lands. Let's keep. You can always trust someone who likes big butts. And they cannot lie. I've heard that, actually. I, I have heard that. Terramander. Mm. Flying men, go. Flying men, activate. Thought erasure. The eye, the one who has seen the eye. All right. Well, that means that thief is out. He's probably not sticking. Well, what I change the Sephiroths with if you didn't have them for this deck? I'm not sure. Um, I think you want some sort of like top endy threat, and then it does a pretty good job of doing that. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. All right, let's fire back here. Wrath, contempt, land, land. Okay, so I think we're pretty happy taking the wrath here. I guess the the Sephiroth lines up well against the contempt. 
Well, ends up poorly against Contempt, but the Wrath deals with the Terramanders, which is, we can, we can force the, the Contempt with the Terramanders. And Sephiroth is bad against Counterspells, anyway. oh, that's great, we'll keep that. Just fire off again next turn, I like it. I like it, I like all of it. Get some more spells in the bin, let's do this. Ugh. That's annoying. Am I saying Sephiroth wrong? How do you say it? Seraph? It's Seraph, isn't it? Yeah. Sephiroth, ruff, 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 ruff. I'm mildly dyslexic. I say things wrong. I own it. I own it. All right. Give me that contempt. Hostaker, go away. All right. We're just slamming everything. Sephiroth. Sephiroth, ruff, ruff, Pateramamander. Don't draw wrath. That's a really good draw. Uh, no lie. They can't even absorb it. Terrymander? No, I don't play Final Fantasy. I was a Zelda kid growing up. God, unreal. When I was a kid, it was like, you were a Final Fantasy kid, or you were a Zelda kid. And I was a Zelda kid. So, we did not play Final Fantasy in my house. Sweet. Spawn is interesting in this deck. Diva Sand, I can buy that. Where are we at now on this? One, two, three, four... Oh, ways away. Diablo and StarCraft? Well, yeah, obviously I played StarCraft and Diablo, too, but I'm saying, like, when I was, like, a kid kid, you know, it was all about Zelda or Final Fantasy, which were you? One, two, three, four. Do I play Thief or not? Um, I think I do. I'm just jam it. Whatever. If they, if they draw Wrath, it's, like, the literal worst-case scenario. They have, way, they have, like, a turn to draw it. If this ever hits them, we probably just win. Was I a Sonic kid or a Mario kid? I actually went back and forth when I was a kid. I like had a, Nintendo, a Super Nintendo for like a while. Then we like sold it to Funko Land. I got a Sega, had that for a while. Then I sold that to Funko Land. I would like trade back and forth every few years. All right, that's really bad for us. I just drew Mortify. We also drew Mortify, which is really really bad. Um, still only four, right? I keep checking, but it's still only four. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're attacking the fairy. I mean, all these dead cards in our hand feels pretty bad. I think it's four. Opt, opt, erasure, erasure, right? Yeah, it's only four. I could just burn a dive down, but that doesn't feel great. We just have two dead removal spells in our hand. Earthworm Jim, that game was sweet. They have two fresh cards. I mean, we burn Dive Down and then pump this and they kill it in the game, it probably just ends. Um, but with the fairy input, the game ends anyway, so whatever, just do it. This feels awful. Basically just shoving all in here. Wow. This is hardly my worst defeat. Wow. NHL 94? Cornball, you're awesome. NHL 94 was the bomb. I, I, I had 95, actually. I'm sorry, I had 95. I would, like, create myself as a player. I was a center, number one. And I would create my friends as players and stuff. And I would create the might the Mighty Ducks players as players too. So my team would be like me, a couple of my friends, 
Gretzky, Messier, Lindros, and then like a couple of the guys from the Mighty Ducks. I was a really cool kid. That's whatever. They have to have like a two mana. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this is fine. The Iron Man is really good. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Mutant League Hockey. If you've missed it, so I do a show with my stepson called the John and Jim Show. We play, we play, we've been playing a lot of Cuphead lately, but we used to play classic video games. And one of the games we play is actually Mutant League Hockey. Here, check out, check out the YouTube. We played it uh, recently for the uh, the Burnsy Memorial Show. Where is it? There it is. See, it's John and I playing uh, Mutant League Hockey. John and Jim Show. Check it out on my YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jim Davis MTG. Check it out. All right, Drowned Catacomb. Sure. I mean, we're just gonna slam away here at this Pteromander and hope it's enough. Rivals is just best of three standard. Timu Solani, yeah, he was good. Solani, Lindros, Bork, Thought Erasure, that's kind of a tilt. Wasn't there a Mutant League cartoon? I don't remember. They took Mortify? Wow. Interesting. The John Jim show's great. And they bin a Ascanta, and they have their own Ascanta. All right. I mean, I guess we're just like hoping this can kill them. We're gonna play. They, they, they hit a rat. We're we're just in big trouble if they hit. Basically, we have like one turn of them bricking, basically, and that's it. Uh, it sucks. We're one short of Lazav, plus make it a, a Seraph. Because then we could have Wrath Protection. Uh, this... If we just say go, they get to Ascanta. If they find a single removal spell, it's bad if we don't play this. If they find a Wrath, it's bad if we play this. But they've seen one Wrath so far. If I'm just going to play it. We get a Scry, too. What's up, Warp? Absorb? Sure, that's bad. Now do you play with Terramander? I guess. And just hope they don't hit Wrath. I think that's basically our best chance to win. They have so many single removal spells in their deck. Um, that, like, they're more likely to find that. They've been a land. Don't be wrath. God, it's always it's always hit. The nerve of these people. Now now we're just super dead. We, we can't beat an Escanto with no hand. I mean, just the usual frustrating game against control, which Oh, they tap wrong? Why'd this bubble on the stack then? How did they put the spell on the stack if they didn't have double black? Like, why did it pop out like that? Alright. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. But if they can't cast it, then how did I see it? Oh, if you like, can see by Troll trying to play a spell, it shows the spell. Alright, whatever. I'm happy. Um... <laughs> All right, we gotta keep it some, some cast downs for their Thief of Sanities. Um, we're gonna want... Oh, Eldritch, Eldritch Reborn's a nut. Eldritch Reborn, cut the Hostage Taker. We're gonna cut... I think Lazab is pretty bad. It's like a threat, I guess. Seraph of the Scale seems pretty bad, it's also just like easy contempt target. No, it wasn't the Ascanta reveal. Like it went out onto the onto the field of play, and then they scooped. So I thought they were casting it. It didn't make sense. But all right, we'll keep, I guess, three cast downs for possible thief sanities and hostage shakers. I'm gonna bring the fourth. I need to use the gates too. Bring the gates. Oh, mortifies. Oh, mortifies actually fine. Mortifies better than cast down. Uh, all right, we'll do that. 
this deck good? I have no idea. It's our first match. Seems cool. Catacomb, Godless Shrine, Duress, Thought Erasure. This game's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I see your Godless Shrine. Wrath, Cast Down, Lyra. God, this Eldest Reborn is going to be so good. Um, I'm going to take the Cast Down. They have no blue. Who are these people? Uh, oh. right, so we're definitely leaving the Lyra because we can just Eldest Reborn it. Man, I know you can announce the spell, but like, I don't think I didn't think that Arena actually showed the spell once you announced it. All right, and just a little Terry Mander. Play a little two life. It's their old all isolated chapel draw. What a frustrating match for them, you know. I guess we're one we're one turn behind on our Eldest Reborn for the. Oh no, we're not. We should find a land. We're not getting stuck on. on contempt, sure. Nice contempt. Opt. We're gonna bottom that. We should draw a land. It's not a land. Sweet. We are cool. Ross didn't think we were gonna draw land, but we did. Haha, ha, Ross. Everyone laughed at Ross. Ah! Yeah, I love Eldritch Reborn. The card's great. Guarantee concession in three, two, one. No. No! They're still playing. We get to untap, I think we win. What's this one card left? Thief of Sanity. Whew. It's nothing. Nope. No vigilance here. Alright, let's take a little looky loo. I like that. Uh, we're slamming. Ah! Wraiths! Wraiths on wings! You're dead. Get out of here. Go away. This deck seems cool so far. What do we got here? Got a card? Disinformation campaign. Real fast, real fast fresh words playing the Sam Black Esper Agro deck from one of his articles recently. You haven't seen it? There it is. Check it out. You can always type in exclamation point deck to look at the list. And if you're watching on YouTube, the list is always in the uh, video description as well as the arena export file. 1-0. Cool so far. Over a 1,000 viewers. Give yourself a hand for being awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Yeah, hit that follow button, of course. Hit that follow button if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button there. And, of course, subscribing to the stream on Twitch is the best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer. It's my full-time gig, so I do for a living. I produce content for CoolStuffInc.com, Video Monday, article every Friday. I play for Team BCW um, on the SG Tour. I stream on Twitch. I make videos on YouTube. And I'm a full-time Magic player, so your support makes that possible. Thank you all so much. Five bucks a month, you get access to all my awesome emotes. You get Christmas cards. You get uh, other fun stuff. Access to my private Discord chat server for subs only. Great community in there. And, um, yeah. Five bucks a month. Love you all. Rixus. Grixis, Grixis. Peter Mander? Peter. I suppose full-time dad and husband, too. Sure. I took the dive down. That's pretty interesting. Alright. They have Ritual of Soot, Thought Erasure, Insight, Cast Down. That's a pretty good end. Um, I can't take Thought Erasure now. And just get the Seraph going. Yeah, I like that, actually. Make them use their rule spells on my Thief. Yeah, I like this. Fortress? No. Got him. 
No, not husband. Future husband. Yeah, that's gas. So now I just like play thief. They have to counter it. And then we just slam Seraph. I'm not counter. I mean, I have to, they have the ritual so they lose. Yeah, as I said, Nicole and John are out of my hair for the next three days. They're on vacation at Foxwoods. Alright, we have to just sell some spells here. I'm, I'm done. They can see these. I'm stupid. I should have played these lines. Whatever. So Nicole and John are gone till Wednesday night. I get to relax, have a little time to myself, do a little streaming. Gotta stop drawing lands at some point. That would be really, really cool. What's up, mister? A deck that uses Nikia Ni Ni of the old ways to cast big Krasis. Um, I think the Krasis is good enough where you don't need the help, and not being able to play non-creature spells is pretty bad. I think you want kill spells in your Krasis deck to buy time to cast big Krasis. This is ridiculous. Like... You're just drawing all the lands. I'm not even playing that many lands. I think there's like 20 lands in this deck. Discard an island? Yeah. Fortunately, Insight's really good against... Uh, it's really good to give it a lot of time. We are giving our opponent a lot of time. But... Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sucks. <laughs> hmm. Uh, that card might be better than our card. Uh, I guess cast down's bad. Mortify, I guess. That's not particularly great. Vigilance. Mm -hmm. Wow! That feels great. They could have Ritual of Soot. Maybe I shouldn't cast this Thief. They're at 13, though. Like... These two tokens are not going to win the game by themselves. They have multiple disc... Yeah, I'm going to cast this. Leaving it in my hand turns on Thought Erasure, Nicol Bolas, etc., etc. And if they don't have Ritual set, then it's insane. Perfect. Alright, cool. GG! Oh my god. Resub. Three months. You're awesome. Thank you. Alright, that's bad for us. Uh, that's another land. I should play it, I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't think our hundredth land matters that much. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. By you. Syncopate. Right, well, the land didn't matter anyway, so. No, we're probably dead. Um, we put a lot of lands in our graveyard. Hostage shaker. Viva sanity. No, it doesn't really do it. Uh, oh! Hallelujah! Wing! I only have one of those. It's going to be a, a miracle if this lives to our next turn. But if it does, you probably win. Sure. No cards here. This card's so bad. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Yeah! Yeah! Mm, he seemed dead now. These Grixis decks are so bad. Disinf you got it. Disinformation campaign. Sure. Well, I can't flip it for a multitude of reasons. 
Because A, they would get it back, and B, I can't even do it. So don't try and trick me with that, all right? Flip it. Yeah, try and trick me. Can't trick me. Can't fool me. Right, whatever. What you got, fool? As long as, they, as long as they have all these disinformation campaigns, you know? That card's so bad. Raise your hand in chat if you think disinformation campaign's a terrible magic card. Alright, so... We're gonna want some negates and some eldest reborns. I wish there was a middle ground between this and this. Like, halfway. This is too big, this is too small. You know? Alright, I definitely don't want these cast downs. I don't think I want these mortifies either. Um, I actually like Hostage Taker. I mean, they're probably to bring in their own Thief of Sanities, I guess. So, maybe I am interested in the, um, the Mortifies. Yeah. I like Hostage Taker, too. I actually don't, I don't like Negate that much. Spell Pierce is better than Negate. Yeah, negates. They're, they're, they're like a, a not like a pure control deck. I don't want to negate that much. Is it break? I don't want this card. It's like big, powerful effect. I guess Elders are born. Kind of fills that um. Kind of fills that angle for us. I mean, negates better than spell pierce. Spell pierce is so good early though. Is Azov bad? I don't know. I have no idea. We're winging it, as usual. Winging it. Just winging it. Uh, Moises, what's up, my friend? Now, this is from Sam Black's article. Uh, he may have played it at a GP, I have no idea. But this is from his article, like, last week. He had some pretty interesting brews in there that we're playing uh, one or two of today. This hand's not great, but it's got opt. Yeah, Melody's good against Krasis, good against White Weenie. Hey, we're lucky. What up, Clock, resub, welcome back, my friend. Land, land, Nicol Bolas, land. I wish I could just sort the lands. Contempt, insight. A lot of force. A lot of force. Um, Nicol Bolas, kind of annoying. No soot. They played an untapped land. So, over the blood crypt. Probably a little telling. Could be cast down or like syncopate or some garbage. Um, I don't think I mind syncopate, honestly. I'm just gonna play two Terramanders here. Didn't I have a crazy game against someone in Mulligan to Oblivion against you and then play Disarmation? <laughs> yes. Um, the first tournament of this format. I was playing Blue Eye Control on a team with Ross Merriam and Todd Anderson. And I played against like a Salt Eye Disinformation Campaign something deck. And put a mulligan to like three. And on turn five, they had seven cards in hand and I had one. Because they just had like a perfect like thought erasure into campaign, into counter my spell, bounce campaign, into play campaign, play campaign, or something. It was just like stupid, stupid and. Alright. Um This is fine. I do want to opt, try and find a, a Thought Erasure, but, or a Duress of some kind. Mortify. That plays. Maybe I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll just Mortify the Bolus. If I Hostage Taker it, and they kill my Hostage Taker, it's pretty bad. This is fine. Like this card is Swamp, Mortify the Bolus, it's all fine. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. Yeah, not a frog, alright? Not a frog. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. We got three spells in the bin. Alright. I think we're just cranking up a Terramander here. It's pretty aggro, but like... I mean, what else are we doing, you know? Just get it done. Axe keys. 
They have insight too, so our, the impetus is on us to kill them. What happened to what's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? I still say what's up, what's your name? Where are you from? But I had to say it too often. Too many new subs. I know, big problem, right? Um, so the now the full text of that is in my it's in the text description when someone subs. So let's just have them not have a removal spell. And then we probably win the game on the spot. So I'll take that. And they have insight card. So we can fade our removal spell for one turn and probably just win the game. Terramander's currently not in close enough. Uh I think Alright. I can't look. Can't look, can't look, can't look. Play insight, brick, play land, concede. That didn't sound good at all. That did not sound good. Oh! What the hell is this? They have Bedevil Bacon Bowl? Ugh. Alright. Eldest are born, please. Where were you? I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. I mean, we're dead. We take like a million this turn. I guess, well, I guess we have like one turn draw Elder Born. The Devil's Art is pretty cool, yes. Yeah, I mean, we are. I guess I shouldn't. Yeah, I still have Spell Pierce. Probably not gonna Spell Pierce or anything, but. Yeah. I'm a dumb card. It's like untap, literally unbeatable. I don't know why I did that. That was really stupid. I obviously just wouldn't let it resolve. I just keep letting them draw a card for free for no reason. Yeah, that was stupid. Like I'm my thief is doesn't matter at all. All that matters is I just I draw uh, an Elder Reborn. That was really dumb. I mean I have to draw one outer and then I have to have all these like ten cards in their hand not be good to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so, got a tough game there, obviously. I think we don't want this. Yeah, I'm fine running it back. I think we're fine. KZ says, looking at GP Memphis results, Simic Nexus in top 8 is running 3 Incubation Druid in the sideboard. I mean, it, if everyone's on a board out there, removal, it's just a good ramp spell, right? I haven't actually seen the list, but that would be my guess. Give me sugar and water. Thanks for following M. Harris. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Y'all great? Anyone still play that Dragon's deck with Sarkin and Niv? Was that ever actually a deck? I had like a cool Turbo Niv deck with Treasure Map and Sailor Memes. That was best of one, though. What's up, Ox? Man, they're in the tank. Jeez. Arimander. All right, let's go. We're gonna keep, but it's not great. Mulligating against the Nickel Bolas Thought Erasure deck, Disinformation Campaign decks usually not great. So I'm just gonna keep. It's not a great hand, but. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking to myself, do we have a nice duress in our deck? 
I worked hard to get those Urza Saga duresses. I want them to be the ones that go into my deck automatically. I don't have to change it. Give me my Urza Saga duresses, alright? Oh my god. Two lands. Nickel Boss, Mass Manipulation, Bedevil, Insight, Thought Erasure. So easy Thought Erasure here. And they're just going to draw four lands in a row, obviously, and destroy us, but... Theoretically, they shouldn't draw any lands. Alright, that's probably a good sign for them not drawing lands. So lucky! And the mana to cast Bedevil. Wow. These people. Rain's still pretty good, so... Urza Saga Duress is ugly. Get out of my channel. Don't say such heresy in my chat. Alright, sure. They have Ritual of Set too. They should go land Ritual of Set. That would be hilarious. Well, two running lands in a row. Why wouldn't they draw two running lands in a row when they have Mass Manipulation, Nickel Bolas, Insight in their hand, you know? Why wouldn't they? Just makes sense. Just makes sense. Just keep it two lander. Never get punished. Urza Saga Duress was as available as part of the Pauper event. His Rixus decks are so bad. Alright. We have two spells and a Mortify. We probably can't win anymore. Like. We just cast this card and steal our stuff. Kill that. Pretty frustrating. Alright. So they have... What? They have a lot of spells in their graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez. Somniac, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Yeah. Worst control magic of all time. Worst threads of disloyalty of all time. God. That is. That's something. This thing was like one mana to evolve next turn. What are they at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was that was a one mana five five next turn. Alright. That was They must feel their hand is so good that they just can't lose a longer game. It's pretty wild. Look. The devil, mass manipulation. Just they're made for each other, you know? God, I hope they died of his token. Third, third deck's got so much discard, I don't just play our land. I'm not sure if we need this much mana, but... Let's go with Hostage Taker and stuff. This is great. We'll just keep going. So now we have, we have to cast Hostage Shaker and steal a Nickel Bolas. Yeah, I'll hold this in my hand. Maybe they have Thought Erasure or something. I love it. I love how bad these Rixus decks are. They're going to lose my goddamn spirit here. Coast to coast! It's probably not going to stick, but... How do you pass to attackers so fast? You just slam a spacebar. Slam it. 
Spacebar is okay. It's also attack all. Race is on. Please give me hostage taker. Oh, sure. Should have attacked first. Good luck, Wednesday. Thanks, uh, Blues. Appreciate that. Seven month resub. You're awesome. All right. They have nothing but war, boss. Insomniac, new sub. Jason from on from Ohio. Only one in my circle or on twenty friends didn't play Magic in the twenties. Started playing during RTR, been hooked ever since. Favorite card, dig through time. Favorite deck is eight rack. Jason, thanks for subbing, my friend. Appreciate it. They've been there. Their card looks like it. Yeah, obviously we lose this race. That's correct. We need to we need to draw some sort of spell. That is a spell. Hit me. Good spell. Good spell. Space bar. Hold. Don't draw contempt. Hold. God, these Grixis decks are bad. I like it. I like it. Cool. Esper deck. We were like Diamond Tier 2 like a while ago. We're not even... We're, not, we're going, just going back to where we were. You get some gems. We're 2-0. and 1-0. Is that round one or round two? I don't remember. Only like two hours into the stream, it's already blurring together. Baby magic. That's 1-0, right? I think we're 1-0. Yeah, blocking with, the, blocking with Terramander there was unbelievable. Like, they would have won the game easily if it just took the one damage and made a 5-5. Grixis is bad. What do you want from me? I'm, just, I'm sorry. Just, you know, just, that's life. Catacomb, Fortress... I'm gonna keep this. We have the duress opt. We have if we even if we go tap land, tap land duress, and then opt and stuff. I think it's just fine. I'm gonna keep. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. That's bad for us. Right. Well, we're two zero. What did we beat the first time? What did we beat in round one? I don't remember. I have memory problems. I'm really old. Don't have the nuts. As for control, okay. That's why. Yeah, okay, sure. I think I remember that. How free is Arena? Um, it's free to play. You can grind your way to gold and gems and stuff. Watery Grave is gas. Um, I think we're going to duress. Yeah, we'll just open on duress. We could, like, play tap land and try double spell next turn with duress and our removal spell, but there's nothing really important to kill yet. They could have a trickster, which makes things annoying, but... They have spell period. They have a lot of things, obviously. Dress is really good, though. Dress is so good against Mono Blue. Just so mana efficient. Wizard's Retort? Wow. That was awesome. It's a good day. It's a great day, ba 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 ba. It's a great day, ba 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 ba. It's a great day, ba 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 ba. Name that tune. High five to anyone who can name that tune in chat. Ba 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 ba. Ship. You got discovery. Maybe just, yeah, maybe just, we're not under any pressure here. We're just Discovery. Probably should have played, uh... Not played the... Oops. It is called Great Day, but, um... You gotta give me more than that, though. Name the band. It's a great day! Bam, 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 bam. Man, two... Tier 1 counter spells on our crappy cards. It's pretty weird. This deck seems cool, honestly. I like it. People who appreciate days. Oh, there it is. And counter this too? No. Uh, search for Ascantis. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, we already have two in the bin. About to have three. We have two removal spells. I'm actually kind of about this search for Ascanta. Hi. 
Thanks for following everyone. They have a trickster. They have a cave troll. Um. All right. We'll just counter or kill the storm tamer, I guess. It is partially sung by the singer of a '90s punk band. That's your hint. Yeah, this is like kind of ugly. Timing on this is weird. Maybe we should do it on their turn because like, like spell pierce and dive down are available, but. I think killing Trickster is the, uh, the, 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 same, the strong is the important one. It's a great day. Ba -na -na -na. 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 We got four in the bin so far. Terramander is pretty good. We have four spells in the bin. I want it. Nicole knows, yes. Nicole does know. Oops. Jared! Hi, Jim. I'm looking for a modern deck to build. I like to cheat mana, play big dumb creatures, and generate a lot of value. I tried Eldrazi Tron and didn't like it. Ever suggestions? Hmm. Let me ponder that for a moment, my friend. Uh, so we have... Terramander can adapt right now. Um, probably just ship it, right? Like, I guess there's no reason to, to just not just say go. Alright, there's a Trickster. Dive Down doesn't really do much in this matchup. Maybe I should just dive down here to keep this thing untapped and not take five. Yeah. Um, so the song is uh, Great Day by the band Playdate, and Playdate is a kid indie band formed by Greg from the Bouncing Souls and his wife Shanti. They were actually on my radio show, John Loves Them, and uh, so people who said 90s punk was kind of right. It is the singer of the Bouncing Souls, but it is, um, it is uh, a band called Playdate. Opt. We're at... Five cards in the bin. I probably should have cast this, cast that on my upkeep, but the, the trigger just kind of went off. I didn't have control. Uh, See, I can't play any more than that because we're on a YouTube video, but there it is. Check it out, Playdate. They're really cool. If you have kids, they're awesome. Um, we're going to top this. Uh, just cast it. Spell Pierce? It's kind of cool, actually. They only have two lands in play. I actually like that a lot. And then, um, they have three, two spells in the graveyard. I think we just kill the Storm Tamer. We can just wait, though. There's no real rush. Like, now we're sitting back on Escanta, which is kind of cool, so... Alright, that fourth land makes the Spell Pierce look more embarrassing, but... I used to have a radio show called Say What's Radio on uh, Stony Brook College Radio, Stony Brook, Stony Brook University. WUSB 90.1 FM, Say What's Radio. That was my show. Man, Paramander's really good. Paramander. Terramander. Terrymander. All this terrymandering. Right. I'm kind of unhappy with the spell pierce now, but... Uh, library. Now nah, I'm very happy with it. Transform. Ship the Sephiroth of the scales. Right, let's leave up a... I need the white to... No! Oh, knock it off! Can you tell me how Settle is really bad in standard? Um, it is pretty bad in standard because... Hydroid Crisis is one of the best cards, and it makes it really, really good, so. Alright, they have two spells in the bin. If they have a Trickster of attack is bad, but if they had it, they would have probably used it by now. I'm gonna attack. Oh, 
Oh, and as for the the modern deck question, so like the, you like the cheap mana, play big dumb creatures, and generate a lot of value. Um, hmm. What deck cheats mana, plays dumb creatures, and generates a lot of value? Like there are other Eldrazi decks. Like that, I've always liked the Serum Powder Eldrazi deck. I actually think Eldrazi is in a real good spot right now because there are so many Lightning Bolts floating around, and Chalice of the Void is actually really good. So I think that the uh, the Colorless Eldrazi deck might actually be the nut. Um, that's one you can try out. Thought Erasure. So the cost of Thought Erasure here is probably not as Kanta-ing. Um, if I want a Vigilance attack, I could just Terramander attack. Yeah, I'll just hold this. I'm going to Vigilance and attack with just the scales, I think. I play it pretty conservatively. Um, and then I can ask Kanta. I have Spell Pierce set up for night, and I use this to force a spell through next turn. Um, if I slam with the Terramander also, that's pretty risky. Yeah. Yeah, I think Eldrazi are poised to make a comeback in Modern, given the current state of the format. Thought Not Seer is very good against Lightning Bolt decks. Chalice, yeah. Yeah, Ross does not want you to play Chalice of the Void, because Ross's deck has 38 one-mana spells in it. You dead. Is this like the nut? Did, did Sam Black break it, and we stole it, and now we're playing it, and we gotta get all the credit for it? Is that what's gonna happen here? Um, Mono Blue, we want Fungal Infection, Cast Down, Moment of Craving, uh, Ritual of Soot. I don't think we want that card. I want Hostage Taker. Um, we should have more Duresses in the board. I don't think I want Search, despite how that game played out. It just happened to play out well in that game. Um... I don't think I want Lazav. I don't want Dive Down. Spell Pierce is pretty cool for forcing stuff through. Um, Mortify is very clunky. I don't mind shaving a Mortify. Uh, Seraph is great. Thief is great. Hostage is great. Discovery is a little awkward, but fine. Forecast Down, Moment, Double Fungal. This all seems pretty reasonable. Trancing Melody is kind of cool against them, honestly, but like it's like the sort of big effect that if they spell Pierce or, or dive down, it's terrible. But like if it resolves, it's good. But I don't think we need I don't think we need need the the Hail Mary kind of card of this matchup. I think we're in pretty good shape with given the tools that we already have. So I don't want Ritual. I think uh, we have enough spot removal, and then our small creatures are very important. Like if I have a five five Terramander, I can't cast Ritual. You know. Hostage Taker is expensive, but you need to understand that they can't kill it. And if you steal a 1-drop and have 5 mana, you can cast it immediately. And then Cry is just not good. I don't think Cry should be the sideboard, honestly. Cry just doesn't seem very good to me. Sand's fine. Melody is in the board for Krasis and for Mono White, I would assume. I, didn't, I, did, not, I did not build this deck, so I'm not sure. But... Um, Alright. I just don't think Cry is good. They often have one big threat rather than a few little threats. And it just doesn't doesn't play around dive down. I kinda wanna block here. I'm just, yeah, this is a pretty easy block, I think. If they want to use dive down here, awesome. Opt, sure. Mortify can kill obsession, but I'd rather kill the creature and have cheaper cards that do it. That was a great trade for us. Terrymander. Eh, this is fine. We could just kill this right now, but if they drop, drop a Tempest in, we're kind of in a little bit of trouble. Um, I think we can afford to just cast Discovery. Those are both bad. Okay, this is fine. Stop moving around. I guess this, this is not, not really a super big threat at the moment. Alright, so they have four cards, all spells. I think we're just going to play another setup turn. We could try and do cast down into a four drop. I actually like that too. Yeah, we'll just play a tap land here and so go. 
If they cast a Trickster, it'll probably kill something in response. Alright. Um. What do I want to kill? The question is, do I want to kill on their turn to try and make him tap out? I think I do, actually. I'll just say go. Let him untap. And land. All right, no obsession. I'm going to try and kill the Trickster here and see what they do. And if they counter it, awesome. And if they don't, fine. If they have exactly dive down into... All right, Spell Pierce is fine. So now I can run back-to-back -back cards here. I think I like playing Seraph. If Seraph resolves, we're in great shape. If they counter it, which they probably will, we should have Taker for Taker for a one-drop next turn, which is great too. So I think I'm fine just jamming stuff here. Cool. Su suffice to popular opinion, Mono Blue doesn't always have it. You know? Ooh. The deep freeze. I'll block. Under a deep freeze. Alright, well now, we get to do what I said we were going to do, and it feels pretty good. Feeling strangely fine. I'll take that. Thank you. Sir says, I think it would be f cool if I made a deck on stream. I think, like, watching a streamer, like, fumble around with, it with the deck builder is not, like, really good TV. If there was enough interest for it, I would do that. Alright, so we're flooding, but it's fine. Uh, we have... Welcome aboard two spells in the graveyard. Let's see how many more we have after we cast this. Hi. Thanks for following, everyone. So we could just bin this. This will have well, five spells. We can adapt Terramander immediately, but Mortify is pretty good. I didn't play a land yet either, right? That's fine. So let's just do this. I'm gonna leave the. I don't need to leave that back. Whatever. All right, we're three and zero. This deck's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, deck seems pretty sweet. Deck's doing a lot of the good things in the format. Oh, you got another booster pack. Who wants to open a booster pack? If you want to open a booster back, raise your hand in chat. We're 3-0 so far with this Esper deck. We've got two more, two more matches to play. Tons of standard to play today. Make sure you follow if you haven't followed already. Also, I want to remind everyone, check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies. The new Deck Guard Elite 2 sleeves are out. Two. So this image is actually old. They're insane. The old sleeves are great. The new sleeves are even better. Uh, matte and gloss fronts. They have the blackout. Totally opaqueness. Uh, they shuffle awesome. They're a little bit taller than these sleeves are too, so nothing pops out. They're great. Check them out, the new BCW Elite 2 sleeves, and also, also all the other great stuff on bcwsupplies.com. They have great binders and deck boxes, new supply line for everything. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order, bcwsupplies.com. Check it out, bcwsupplies.com. Booster pack! Gems. I guess it's not very exciting to open up booster packs in this set because I have all the cards. But let's keep going. Sand Black's Esper Aggro deck. Let's go. Well, if that was a watery grave, we could talk. What's up, Luca? Why are you sad? Don't be sad. But it's not a watery grave, and we can't really talk, so Mulligan. Right. So this makes our lands come in untapped. It's also our fourth land, and we are on the draw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a bottom this. We'll draw land. There we go. Luca happy now. Yes, the gloss shuffle, shuffle really real out of the package. The mat need to be broken in a little bit, but once they're broken in, they're so nice. They're great. Blood Crypt. The bloodiest of crypts. Shh. 
shock go. Alright, well, there's our there's our land I said we were gonna draw. Okay. What's that? I mean, obviously we're just killing this no matter what, so. Like the spell pierce something? They should play like some sort of spell. That is not a spell, that is a Rekindle Phoenix. Alright, I'll play my big dumb mythic rare. My graphics cooler! And they have Lava Coil. Alright. They have the advantage, they have Lava Coil, and we don't. I don't know if Spell Pierce does it anymore, but hopefully they have Contempt. Think we're in trouble. Oh, never mind, we're good. Wow. They're interested in leaving it back on defense. That's pretty interesting. Alright, um, we can just do everything here. I'll discovery first. We have a lot of clean answers in our deck to this uh this Phoenix, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna bin all this. Lands forever. Lands forever. Ooh, that's a creepy dude. Um, all right, I think we just ship everything. We have no creatures in our graveyard, unfortunately. There might have been a reason to attack. Maybe I just, but like, it's just, it's just, nah, this is just terrible. Never mind. There's really no point in doing that. Let's get it back anyway. So I can cast down the egg. Um, it's just like a bad trade. I don't know. I'm not really in a huge rush. Like we're kind of chilling. Terra Man is gonna be big next turn. Like it's more spells in there. I just don't think cast down is necessary. Dispersal's okay, but oh man, they have a second Phoenix and Moment of Graving. That's bad. Terramander being a 5 5 was part of our plan. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, so I, actually, I can make Lazava and Terramander and attack. That's, that doesn't work out very well. Um, we can Dispersal. Um, Alright. Let's just make a big doofer and say go so they can't Moment of Craving or Shock it or something. And maybe we'll set up for dispersal next turn. Yeah, I think Lazav is kind of. I don't think it starts very good, but I guess it's actually insane because we can, we can, we can uh, adapt it, and then wait, what? No, cancel. I want to, and then we can change it to something else later, and I'll still have the counters on it, which is kind of cool. Nothing else to make it into, but making it into a Seraph is pretty cool. If a Seraph dies. That's a lot of words in that Salamander. But Devil, my Lazav. That's really annoying. Uh, Alright. Lame. Lame. I think we're in big trouble here. I don't have any outs to this card, really. Like... We have anything that kills it. If you just bounce, I mean, bouncing a Phoenix seems awful, but I don't know what else we're gonna do. My Terramander was legendary. It's true. Oh my god. Who are these people? They have so many cards that are good against us. All these red cards are so good. Alright, I think we're just dead. I guess we can draw a hostage taker. 
I can't draw a hostage and a land or whatever. Uh, yeah, no real answer to uh, Rekindling Phoenix in this deck. That's kind of a problem. Um, what do we want here? Lava Coil is good against this too. Their deck seems very good against us. Um, Hostage Taker, like, Eldest Reborn seems good against everything but Phoenix. Trancing Melody is super expensive. They're gonna have discard and stuff too. Uh, Seraph just seems bad against them. They just have lava coils. I like Eldest Reborn a lot. This card's just really good. Yeah, Contempt somewhere would be nice. Um, like, chill on Mortify a little bit. And... Why does Andrew Jessup talk so much trash to me? When was, when was he talking trash to me? I haven't seen Andrew in a while. This card just seems bad. This card just seems so bad, realistically. Like, I don't know. Let's try this. Sure. I mean, playing this deck as a Grixis deck is kind of interesting. It's kind of what our, what our opponent's doing. Our opponent's just playing the not playing white and playing Grixis instead. So they have Phoenixes instead of the Seraphs, and then Lava Coil instead of the Mortifies. It makes the mana a little worse, but it's definitely an interesting way to go about it. Um, this hand is good. His Pokemon Fun Man's podcast? Yeah, sure. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Fungal to get rid of the egg? That is not a good exchange. Alright, we have our nut draw. Thought season defeat for sanity. They have two lands. Oh, look, they're like our last opponent. They just have all four drops and no lands. They actually have lands, but. Alright, I mean. We have a hostage taker on top? I like that. I like that. This is great. Good curve. Land go. I'm sure they drew a, they drew a removal spell, but. Deep of Sanity. Brick City. Can I have your attention, please? Steam Vents Bedevil Expansion. I think it's Bedevil. Feeling pretty good here. Now they have to slam a creature. We slam Hostage Shaker. If they get to Angrath, my Thief, it's kind of cool, but... Alright, Diplay Phoenix. We slam Hostage Shaker. If I'm to Angrath, we get to cast the Phoenix just fine. Everything is coming up Millhouse. I should have not played that land because I had the rest. Lava Coil, another Phoenix, and another Hostage Taker. Uh... Coil's kind of nice, just like mana efficiency wise. Um, they have two Nickel Bolas in hand. We have Bedevil to kill one anyway. I'll take the Hostage Taker, get a little greedy. Wah! Monch, we'll go over the deck at the end. We're 3 0 at this deck. We'll discuss it. Uh, Necrotic Wound. We only have like five creatures in our deck or whatever, or eight creatures or whatever it is. It's not enough creatures. There's a certain balance to be had between playing Terramander and a bunch of non creature spells. Um, so cards like that aren't really going to work for us. And they have a lot of big dumb idiots. Alright. Let's get him. Let's go for the 5 out here. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, this is fine. 
I don't think I want that. Oh, it's thought erasure. It's a hand. We'll, we'll pay with two life. I want to find a good play on turn two if they have a discard spell here. No, they don't. Mm. Water grave on the bottom. Hot fountain. Eldest reborn. Alright, I think it's going to get negated, but I'm going to cast it anyway. Nope. They have thought erasure. They, they have sulfur falls, sulfur falls, sulfur falls, steam vents. Uh, Thought Erasure, Eldest Reborn, Moment of Craving, Nickel Bolas. Uh, unfortunately, their hand is kind of good against ours. We have Eldest Reborn to deal with Nickel Bolas, but they have their own Eldest Reborn. Uh, but Thought Erasure is just insane if I draw Black Source. Alright, I'm taking the Thought Erasure. This kind of sucks, but... Uh, don't need dive down, that's for sure. Hopefully there's like never play a black source, that'd be kinda cool. Alright, we have three spells in the bin already, that's kinda cool. Uh playing Terry Mander. Oh they have moment of oh, they, they can't cast it though. Uh, I guess we can play a land untapped here and play Terra Mander. If they have a a Phoenix, we get to kill it, untap Eldest Reborn the Egg, which isn't a great exchange, but it's still, like, pretty good. Guarantees value off of the, uh... Alright, look at us. Look how smart we are. We are so smart and good-looking and thoughtful and compassionate. Talented. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I miscounted my lands. I, I only have, finally have four lands. I'm so stupid, dumb, idiot, ugly. That's the dumbest, stupidest person in the world. Um, all right, what do we do now? Now we gotta make up for this uh, atrocity here. That's really, really bad. Uh, all right, uh, slam, I guess. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was, that was a good punt. It's good to have the good punts. Emotional roller coaster. And they draw the black. Oh god. Aptly punished. Alright. I deserve this. I deserve everything that just came to me. Everything coming my way. I deserve it. God. I'm gonna lose both cards. I'm just gonna concede. We're just dead. Shame concede. Shame concede. We're three and one. I let everyone down. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Everyone else is the best. I am not attractive. I thought I was smart for like, for a brief moment of my life, of the 34 years I've been on this planet. I thought I was smart. It lasted about eight seconds. Then reality came crashing down. That I just couldn't count the number of lands I had in play. I got. I think I just thought I was in the play. Or three and one. Deck's cool. Honestly, a matchup seems kind of seems kind of hard either way. Like Lava Coil and Phoenix are very good against us, which is definitely a concern. Uh, this hand plays. A little awkward with the ops, but it plays. Stomping ground. Ooh, what a draw. God, better lucky than good. Growth Chamber Guardian. Zertar Goblin. Goblin Chain Whirler. Dragon. These are all warriors? No. Goblin, Goblin. Alright. Um, I think it's probably Guardian. Like, the Hellkite's actually quite good, but we have a lot of our move on our deck. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty far down the road. I want to get Thief of Sanity online as fast as possible, so... Play Glacial first. First, I could have. Uh, no, nah, I don't need that. All right, let's get some doofers, just like a red green 
beat downy deck. You can play like a 3 3 here, it's fine. Gruel aggro. It's like top 8 of a GP? Wow. I think his deck's a little soft, but. Oh, I'm such an idiot. That's why I should have played it first. I'm so dumb. Man, I'm playing like crap. I'm stupid. All right, yeah, I just you just you just assume all your buddy lands coming on tap when you play a, a land that gets them on tap. Obviously, it doesn't that doesn't do anything. All right, now now we're gonna probably gonna lose this game too. Shame, 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 shame. Um, too much Waka Waka. I gotta dial back the Waka Waka a little bit. Got it. Next turn, so now we're actually like behind. I probably want this, I want both of these, honestly. I could hostage take or something and try and get back in the game. I thought erasure the, the big, the big dumb creature. I'm fine with this. It's awkward, so we can't, can't cast this yet, but we have ops to find lands. Fortunately, Thief has, has gone from being the best card in the world to basically unplayable given this game state, but... Alright, so now we're going to set up for our hostage taker next turn by casting Thought Erasure. I really want a land for hostage taker. I'm going to bin this. Okay, that plays. And now I want to... We have three in the bin. Racer's four, Optus five. We're pretty close to Terramander five-fiving also. So I think we're actually in fine shape this game. Um, there's no tilt kitten. I'm just bad, I'm just bad. You know, what are you going to do? I've been bad all my life, it's fine. Um, I just want to opt first. I uh, thought I was reversed. Alright, they have another Chain Whirler? Sure. Take the Hellkite. Bin the land. Alright, this is fine. Um. Dylan! Dylan Moran, what's up, man? How's it going? Dylan, what's your name? Where are you from? All questions are in chat. Introduce yourself. Right. They're not playing Chain Whirler. We have another Thought Erasure. And I can Terramander as a big creature now, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. No. I'm one short. Thought Erasure is six. If Thought Erasure bins a spell, I can, but that's a pretty big risk. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to. Uh, I'm going to bin this. I'm going to play Hostaker next turn. If they, if they drew a removal spell this turn, or next turn, we're in trouble, but... Stop moving around! Oh! What is going on? I deserve that. What's the most fun deck I've played in Standard in the past couple weeks? Probably my Moist Jund deck. It's on my YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind getting aptly punished. Start top eight events so I can watch you. I'm playing the Rivals event on Wednesday. Check that out, Dale. Okay, so Lava Coil attack. <sighs> so now we're one, two, we're on five spells in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, don't we know they have a, a Chain Wheeler in their hand? It just hides the hand after it restarts, it's awkward. All right, I mean, we're in pretty big trouble here. 
We have, I'm sorry, we have five spells in the bin, right? So, Discovery is six. So it's one and two. We can keep, we can keep this on top. Terrymander. Five, five. We get to block something safely. We have Mortify and Thief. We're like still okay here, despite egregious play on my side. Oh, they drew a Harpooner, never mind. Alright, so they've drawn very, very well, but I played horribly, so I deserve it. So... Card's really good. Harpooner. I mean, I suppose technically we're still alive. Thief of Sanity, like, eight turns late. All right, let's play better. Wake up, too much waka waka. We're fine, everything's fine. All right, um, Eldest Reborn, Hostage Shaker, Moment of Craving, Cast Down, uh, don't want Search, don't want Lazav, don't want Spell Pierce, don't want Duress. Um, you used to call me on my they're gonna have four phoenixes too. Yeah, well, we, we, this deck seems kind of soft to phoenix. Um, Ritual of Soot's like okay, but it kind of kills our stuff too, and it doesn't kill their ba their bigger, better cards. Trancing Melody's okay. Um, it's not great. It's kind of slow. We already have like big, powerful, slow removal spells. I wish we had a clean answer to phoenix, honestly. Um, that's the big one. Think this is fine. Maybe I want ritual soot. No, I think on the play, maybe I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this in the play. Yeah, no contempts anywhere in this in the 75 feels really awkward. Contempt's obviously really important. Alright, let's focus a little more. I think we gotta ship this. Yeah, this hand is just too bad. Alright, I think we keep. We should draw some lands. We have a scry, we have a cast down, we have Thief of Sanity on three, we hit some lands, we have four ops and four discoveries and so on and so forth. I don't know if I play the Terramander. I might just save it for... It doesn't get Chain Willard. It doesn't really block anything. I guess it deals some chip shot damage, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'll just save a life. Also, it's terrible against a, an early Harpooner. Harpooner is pretty sweet. Yeah, we're probably dead. Two, two, haster for two. Didn't draw land. Okay. And spellbreaker. We're, we're gonna be dead. Okay. About to concede. Got it. Okay. Alright. I deserve that. I deserve that. Yeah, three three seems better than a two two for sure, but alright. So could have played better those last two games, uh, by a lot, but Deck seems pretty cool. There's definitely some tension. Um, you know, the better cards are the creatures, but we're playing a lot of spells, trying to make Terramander good. Um, I think this is like one of the best cards in the format, but actually just doesn't have a deck. You know, like there's just no deck that wants to play this card that's actually good in a main deck. Um, this deck comes close, but some of these cards felt a little garbagey. Um, Search, Lazav. 
didn't feel great. Hostage Taker's pretty good. Three cast down, three Mortify is a lot. Um, Deck's got what? How many lands does it have? 4, 8, 12, 16, 22. I think 22 lands is fine. 22 land, 4 opt, 4 discovery. I think it's fine. Um, free booter's cool. That is true. All right, we'll do one. We'll do one match of booter. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have a little. I'll make up for those last few games. I, I did play pretty pretty heinously. Um, let's cut like that. That add some boots. Um, and let's cut like yeah, mortify. All right, I'll play some boots. Right, I'll play one more game with the boots. Rage Hand, gonna see the boots spawn. Well, spawn over Angel means you just put, you're, you're just blue black at that point. I don't think spawn's great in this deck. Angel is quite good. I think if you want a card over Angel, it's probably just Phoenix. You need to change the deck. But all right, one more match with the, with the booty. One bonus match over the over the usual five because I played horribly. Ugh. Spawn is good. Just like it's only good if you're really aggressive. But we're not really aggressive. You know, we're more of like a. Like a Delvery kind of deck. Oh, Contempt? Sure. Sold me. Let's cut the Cry of Carnarium and a cast down for two Contempts on the board. Cool? Cool. One more try. One more try. Just wait longer. Thanks for following, my friend. Not gruel, then cry. Uh, the boot. Give him the boot. The roots. The radicals. Give him the boot. You know I'm a radical. What's up, Ulf? Once you're playing Freebooter, is Charter Course good? Maybe. Maybe. This deck could definitely possibly use like a full rebuild, honestly. Um, I think he... No, nah, I want to cast turn 2 Booter. I want to cast turn 3 Thief, obviously. And Discovery helps do that a little bit, but then I'm not playing Booter to protect it. I'm just going to bend this. A little riskier, but... Charter Course could be cool. Like Maybe you just want to be blue-black. Maybe like you, you're just like straight blue black. Play charter course. Play a couple. Play a couple of the um, the spawn of whatever's. Lower the curve a little bit. Could definitely be a thing. Nice booter, Ross. <clears throat> Look at that hand. Look at this hand. Blood crypt cemetery cemetery crag war boss war boss. Losing mortify mortify is fine. Like we have answers to like reclamation and stuff, you know. The good news is they can't get their card back from Freebooter because we didn't even get a card. Always look for the silver lining, you know? Nice booty. Kind of a pretty medium booty, honestly. Alright, there's your war boss. We got a thief hit. Ooh, a duress too? I'm really probably not gonna do much, but all right. So we were gonna slam with at least the thief. I think that the, the kite, the freebooter, stays home to deal with the tokens. Theater of Horrors, land, land. Man, Theater of Horrors is gas. I'm just gonna cast that. Uh, actually, I guess they. Get, nah, I can't do that actually, because then they just get to war boss actually attack, which feels really bad. All right, what's um. Let's just say go. Actually, I can opt for a land, actually. Let's opt. Okay, I don't want that. I know, I didn't put the right duress in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Ross, Ross laying some math knowledge, us in ch on ch math knowledge on us in chat. Two, in fact, is greater than one bird. Yeah. Yeah. 
I want to cast this theater of ours real bad. I know it's an ugly duress. I know. I get it. All right. I can't help which one they automatically put in the deck. It was up to me. The saga wants to go in every time. All right. Uh, I think same. Th I mean, we're probably gonna. We might cast hostage taker here. I don't know. We, we don't know what we're gonna hit. I'm gonna leave the, leave the booter back again. Vivian Reed. Wow, that's cool. It's not even that good in our deck, but... Um, could cast Theater of Horrors. Could cast Hostage Taker. Cast Vivian. Look at these multitude of cards available to us. Um, all right, let's just duress cast Hostage Taker. Let's see what that last card is. It's Theater of Horrors. That's guess. Now they have nothing. Take that. Vivian can find more booty. Vivian's on a quest for more booty. What do we want? More booty. When do we want it? Vivian Reed. Oh, they drew a perfect card. That's fine. Deep Sanity is really fun. This booty blocker. Booty blocker all day. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave the leave the booter back again. Assassin's Trophy Chupacabra. I do want to cast Vivian or Theater of his turn. Well, I guess we need to kill the thing. Chupacabra Theater. I should take the land. All right. I will take the. I will take the Assassin's Trophy. Yeah. yeah. I'll take that and just cast this Theater of ours. Yeah. 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 Theater hard is kind of sweet. Be a real shame if something happened to that Doom Whisper. A real shame. And they're gonna scoop in five, four, three, two, one. Scoop a doo. Let's tear this place apart. Let's tear this place up. Draw and fire. Get him, Booter. All right. Uh, Lava Quill, Chupacabra, or Reveler. I think I like Choops now. Look at this board. Maybe this is the deck we should build. The Thief of Sanity, Freebooter, Vivian, Theater of Horrors deck. Maybe that's the that's the key. That's just the key right there, you know? Alright, so we're gonna want what? The rest seems kinda bad. Spell Pierce seems kinda bad. Bolt, Spell Pierce, and Duress seem less necessary once you have Freebooter. The problem is the more creatures we add, the worse Terramander gets. So, but adding Charter Course seems cool too. So maybe there's maybe there's some things that can be done here. Um, I want Hostage Shaker. I want Eldest Reborn. Um, I what else do I want? I guess Spell Pierce is actually fine. Hey, like. They only have like Vivian and stuff. You can't play lands off Thief, no. I guess this is fine. Rainbow mid range. Let's try this. I mean, I'm on Contempt, so probably, probably playing Phoenix. That's a pretty bad mana base. Chupacabra, Vivian, Phoenix. Who knows what they're doing? Who knows? You used to call me on my... Clown Fiesta, yeah, we went, went 3 2, but I punted like the last two matches like really, really bad, like embarrassingly bad. So, deck seems pretty cool. I don't know. The problem is, all these Thief of Sanity decks, it feels like they're winning because Thief of Sanity is so good, not because the deck is good. Oh, these Buddy Land hands are murdering us. I'm just gonna keep. 
We have turn two opt worst case scenario. If we just draw a land, we have our hands really good. I'm just like, I'm just greedy. What can I say? They mulligan too. God, we're lucky. We're so lucky. Well, we'll find a thief with our often thought erasure. It's not a thief. Eh, I'm a shipper. They have lava coils and stuff. Seraph seems kind of bad, honestly. There's so many lava coils floating around. Alright. I wish to erase your thoughts. Where are my contempts? Yes, they have, they have coil for our Seraph. And they have a Legion War boss we can't currently answer. Dispersal will play against Phoenix is where they mulligan and they're short on cards, but And we gotta take War Boss here and just like play around the lava coil. If they slam War Boss next turn is pretty bad for us, so. And then the opt. I think I'm actually pretty cool with opt. Next turn it's discovery and opt. We'll find some gas off that. Never punished. I was aptly punished last match. And the match before that. I was punished hardcore. Alright, don't say I'm never punished. Seraph and free booter. I actually like the booter. Booter plays well. Once we have the booter, then the Seraph looks better, but the thing is, it's, the Seraph still can't answer the, the Phoenix, so let's draw the booter. The problem is, oh, once you add, like, Storm Tamer and Spawn and Freebooter and all these creatures, then Terramander gets worse, you know? Maybe it's better just to not be Terramandering people. Speaking of the devil. Terramander's like, yo, you talking about me? You talk about me? You talk about me? I'm right here. We have three spells. This is four. Terramander's actually pretty good here. I think I want that. Why are you talking about me? Why are you talking about me? Huh? Cast down. All right, so we're going to... Probably Freebooter and Discovery. Cry of the Carnarium Lava Coil. That's very interesting. So they cast the Cry, we just Doomblade the, the Phoenix. Will they do that? There's no way they would walk into that. That's ridiculous. They just like cast Cry next turn. I mean, if it empties their hand, yeah, actually, we're, we're going we're gonna to play with this instead of go. Like, us pausing to play that land is, like, pretty telling. Assume they are dumb. Theater of Horrors. That was the worst thing that could have happened to us. That is a really good draw. Uh, all right. That's bad. Dive down. That's kind of cute. Um, I think this is actually fine. So we like pay some life, play Seraph, leave up Dive down. If they go for the Carnarium, we Carnarium, we just save the Freebooter. Um, and then we can dispersal the the Phoenix, I guess. They get to turn on theater, I guess, which sucks, but ugh. That was bad. Dispersal would bounce the theater. Terram There's only four spells in my graveyard. Terramander's not there yet. Block the Phoenix. And that plays. What's up, Todd? Let's see what they do. They're not going to attack, so. Alright, so they have one Guardian, they have Chupacabra. <sighs> I guess we can just, like, attack with the, the Angel and, like, just kill the token if they block. Hmm. 
Hmm. We give vigilance. Um. We have four spells. We're a ways off from Terra. I, I don't think we even want to cast Terramander yet. Let me just vigilance attack. No, once is enough. Like a weird spot. We could like discovery here to put more spells in the graveyard for our our Terramander. We can like hold it and try and hold out for this like dispersal play on the Phoenix. But like, I don't know if that's happening anytime soon. Anyway, honestly, there's like I'm never gonna cast this. Um, and if they do, we can just kill this anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dis dis discovery here, and I'll probably play this Water Grave untapped. Depending on what happens. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll keep that. We can make that work. Yeah, and then we're going to ship this. Just so you go. So I have cast down, dive down up. Sure. Forest card. So if we cast down the the Phoenix, I guess they can't cast this Chupacabra. If we just block that plays too, yeah, then, then we can cast down whatever else they play and then Eldritch Born them, I like that. Alright, so let's just light it all up. Get her done. Get her done. Not the most efficient answer to Phoenix, but plays. Booty reporting for duty. You don't want to be around my my, my booty reports for duty, right? I'm just saying. All right, so they have Choop Land Land. Carnarium. We have dive down. Now we're getting close to. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four. We have six. Yeah, so Terramander's almost there for two mana for Tombstalker. We got a boot. They might try and cry to get the lava coil back. We'll dive down if they do that. Yeah, no, Booter's been very good this game. I think Booter might be a good missing piece for this deck. Yeah, we have them covered on basically every front here. Eldritch Reborn's going off in two turns. We have more threats. We have the board. Sure. It's for the card. It is a Angrath Metal. Um, suppose... They could have like a wrath effect, right? I'm just gonna slam all our stuff in play. I'll hold the booter, I guess. We should have lethal here anyway. Eh, looks good to me. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. And golden demise? Sure. So they could ping me and then chupacabra this, they just die. Tannin suspiciously not here. For the reveal that Ross is always right. It's weird, isn't it? Tannen is here! Fires back with the you're wrong. Get bent, Ross. Golden demise from the zone. Sure. I like my lava coil, it's fair. This will dead to the Terminator, though. City's busting online. Get back a war boss. 
Lava Coil of a Terramander. Die to your war boss. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, huh, that's exactly five. How lucky. You dead. Okay. So. Yes, moving on up. Got it. Yes. Back to where we were like four days ago. So. Uh, that was, we got a bonus six match in there. I think, um. There's something cool here. I still can't. Can't, uh can't get this deck down. Um, I do like the Freebooters. The Seraphs were pretty medium. Um, we played against a good amount of Lava Coils, but Seraph just seems... Nah. Mortify is fine, and that's the white cards, honestly. So the question is, is white even worth it? Maybe you splash red. Uh, maybe you don't splash anything at all. Um, I agree. Yeah, Todd, I agree. So... Um, booters seem good. Maybe Charter Horse seems good once you're playing the Booters. Maybe you want some of the, uh, the Spawn of Mayhem. Um, something like that. Spawn of Mayhem does seem pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you want that many of them, but Hostage Taker's cool. Discovery's pretty good. It's obviously very good with Terramander. It's like a fine card. It's not great. Um, could Splash Red for Phoenix. That really stresses the mana base a lot. Um... It's just, it's just tough. There's like, isn't aren't enough good early threats, um, but Thief of Sanity is very good, and I almost prefer to rest the Spell Pierce because you're trying to set up your Thief of Sanities, but I guess Booter kind of serves that role too. Um, Grixis Arclight. We tried the Arc an Arclight deck before this, and it was pretty bad. Todd Arclight just seems so mopey in this format. Like, it's so much work to get it to work. And then they just have, like, an Enigma Drake in play. Or a Tempest in play. Or you're dead. You know? So. Um, but, yeah. So, some, there's something cool here. Like, I think Thief of Sanity is really, really good. I think that the correct Thief of Sanity deck has not been found yet. Um, but I think that uh, there's a lot of Thief of Sanity decks out there. And they're more so winning because Thief is so good. Not because the decks are good. Like, that Esper deck's just terrible. Um, but... Thief of Sanity is really, really good. So, I think going forward, I'll try, I'll try this like without white, without white, and either try straight blue black or maybe Grixis, something. I'm not really sure, but pretty cool deck. Again, this original list that I changed a little bit was Sam Black, list from his article on StarCityGames.com. Full credit where credit is due. And now uh, I got tons more decks to play today, but that's it for this deck. We got uh, Tom Ross's Boros Soldier deck. We have Sam Black's Visitation deck. We have. Uh, Juice's version of Sultai Thief, possible Thief of Sanity decks. So we're playing all those decks, but um, that's going to do it for this deck. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you sub. Bye, YouTube.